we're moving on to number seven today in the simple hoops search for foundational anchors what are those main things that all coaches need to understand themselves and then be able to articulate that to their teams such that they are on the floor being competitive but also executing and being very purposeful in everything they do so number seven is that basketball is not a series of drills it is a puzzle that we put together a little bit at a time until the picture makes sense well where did I get number seven I got number seven uh, three years ago when I had a group of 22 high school players in the spring after the season and uh, was really proud of those 22 youngsters because it was a defensive oriented program so for 12 hours they were with me and we were on the floor talking defense now I asked a lot of the players and I'm always curious about this question. Can you tell me a little bit about your practices? Okay, what goes on during practice? How do you guys get ready for games? How do you learn the game? And overwhelmingly, and I was alarmed by this, but overwhelmingly, the answer was, well, we stretch and then we do some shooting drills and then we do some defensive drills and then we... Um, we might scrimmage a little bit and then we might do just some other drills like coach wants us to do. And I said, it sounds like you guys do a lot of drills. Would that, would, would that be the way you would kind of describe your practices? Yeah. Our, our practices are just a, a bunch of drills that we do every day. And I was shocked. How is it? that we're trying to teach all of these players on our team a way to play basketball in an efficient way, in a competitive way. And we've got them so confused. If basketball is nothing but a series of drills, they have absolutely no idea how to play. And you know what that means. That means they're not winning many games because they're out there running drills the problem is, in a game, we don't stop and go from drill to drill. We go from offense to defense in a matter of two seconds. We go from defense to offense in a matter of two seconds. We have decisions we have to make, pinpoint decisions we have to make in a second. How in the world do we go from the mind of, of young players of practice is nothing but a set of drills to go out and play a game. I think a much better way to look at teaching in practice, getting players ready to play, is to explain to them like this. And it's a picture puzzle is what it is. And I, I love putting puzzles together. And I'm kind of a thousand piece um, you know, c kind of puzzle guy. I, I like the thousand and, and I, I spread everything out and I, I make the border first and then I've got, I've got pieces in, in order of sort of color. If it's a mountain, all the mountain pieces go together. If it's a lake, all the lake pieces go together. If it's a house and the pieces look like they might go into the house. And so I organize that way. And then I slowly put parts of the puzzle together. So let's say I put the mountain together. And it looks like there's nothing but a mountain. But then I put in uh, a little lake over here. And then I put a house. And they're starting to see what this is going to become. Now, we know what, what it's going to be because the picture is on the box. But imagine if we didn't know. And being very, very patient, we would have to understand and learn that we're not going to know right away what the picture is. But we're going to have to do the little things in addition to more little things, in addition to more little things, in addition to other things 
So, yes, we can work on small parts of the game, but I wouldn't necessarily call those drills. I want my players to be able to see that what we did in the first 10 minutes of practice fits in nicely to what we did in the 15 minutes in the middle of practice. And take a third phase and fit all three together, and we've got a part of our defense put in in one day. Now, those aren't drills. Those are pieces of the puzzle. And notice I go like this. I don't go like this. Everything fits in perfectly. Well, if you've seen a, a, a puzzle piece, right? Okay, they all have very interesting shapes. And they're done such that pieces fit together. Oh, you're on to something, coach. Pieces fit together. Interesting. What that means is, defensively, your floor positioning, which you're going to work on, fits together with having vision. That fits together with knowing that you must readjust your position on every person and ball movement, or both at the same time. You teach how to handle a screen. You teach a closeout. You teach on the help side, rotating to a player who has beat a teammate of yours. And all these parts of defense, we teach, but then we show players how everything works together. And if you don't know if your players are understanding it that way, and you think they should be, the best way to know is to ask them. Tell me what four pieces of defense in practice today did we introduce and did we go full speed at and you, that you can explain to me how those four things fit together into our defense. Wow. If they can answer that, two things are going on. Number one, they're really paying attention. And soaking it in and want to be really good. And number two, you've done a really good job of teaching that day. There's other days I, I understand that, that coaches probably just roll the ball out. And they say, okay, let's do this drill. Let's do that drill. And let's do that drill. And the players, if there's been three defensive drills, have no clue how those three fit together. Let alone are prepared to go play a game and really lay their defense out. So it's a, it was amazing to me just by asking players just how misguided they were. And we got a lot done. We came up with a list of 90 terms in the time that we were together, which was six sessions, two hours at a session, 12 hours of defensive instruction. We came up with a term of 90 and they kept notebooks. We talked before the workout. We talked after the workout. And they could do some amazing ex explanation of what we had done. I was really proud of them. They not only knew 90 terms, but if I asked them any of those, they could explain them to me. So in a short period of time, they learned a lot about basketball. And it made, you know, it, it made what we did very worthwhile because I heard a lot of comments like, I, I can see how our defense is put together now. Now I know why we help and recover. Or now I know why we should always jump to the ball. And all these things started coming into their mind. Clarity versus muddied waters, Right? Muddy Waters was a blues guitarist. Clarity is a way to win basketball games. Two different things. They're both really, really good, by the way. Muddy Waters is really good. Winning basketball games is really good, too. Anchor number seven. Basketball is not a series of drills. It is the beautiful synergy of melting together 
little parts upon little parts. They come together like pieces of a puzzle, and soon you can see the entire 1,000-piece puzzle and say, wow, I can see it now. I know exactly what it is. And if we can do that, your players will have much more, uh, a much higher level of uh, enjoyment and engagement. Obviously, we're going to win games because your defense is going to be tight and together. Your offense will be tight and together. And that's what the goal is, for them to, to be able to listen, keep eye contact, learn, go out and compete, and execute. Okay, tomorrow's number eight in our list of foundational anchors. We're getting there. We've only got three left. We'll see you tomorrow.